In the race for the White House, both presidential candidates entering the final sprint, and while Donald Trump continues to attack Kamala Harris, there are new attacks against him coming from a large group of his own one-time allies and members of his own administration who say he is unfit to return to office. ABC's Christiane Cordero with the latest from Washington, D.C. Today, Democratic VP candidate Tim Walz joined the millions of people who have cast their votes in the presidential election as a searing critique against Trump emerges from the former president's longest-serving chief of staff, retired General John Kelly. In an interview with the New York Times, Kelly calls Trump a fascist, and Kelly says Trump privately asked why his generals couldn't be more like Hitler's generals. Certainly, uh, the former president uh, is in the far right area, certainly the authoritarian, um, uh, admires people who are dictators, uh, he has said that. So he falls, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. Kelly's comments mirror similar reporting in The Atlantic magazine, all of which Trump's campaign calls a, quote, outrageous lie. Trump has been open about qualities he admires in authoritarian leaders. In Greensboro, North Carolina last night, Trump praised Russian President Vladimir Putin, as well as Chinese President Xi. He runs 1.4 billion people with an iron fist. He's a smart man. He's a fierce man. Kelly, a retired four-star Marine general who spent 45 years in uniform, hasn't endorsed a presidential candidate, instead urging voters consider character over policy. His warning about Trump is not a one-off. At least 11 former Trump officials have all denounced Trump as a danger to the country. In a statement, the Trump campaign stating John Kelly has totally beclowned himself, calling the stories fabricated and adding... Trump has always honored the service and sacrifice of all of our military men and women. Walls speaking out about Kelly's comments as he cast his vote. John Kelly, uh, who I, I thank for showing the courage to come forward, uh, truly telling the world, those closest to Donald Trump know how dangerous he is. Tonight, Harris will participate in CNN's live town hall from Pennsylvania. This was initially offered as the second presidential debate between the two candidates, but only Harris agreed to that. Christian Cordero, ABC News, Washington. And join us this Sunday for our Eyewitness News election guide from major local races to the latest on presidential candidates to issues that could impact your family. Our election guide begins at 12.30 p.m. and follows special Vote 2024 editions of Up Close, Tempo, and Here and Now. New York City.